We're going to start this half hour with the major announcement from the Bachelor franchise. Author and TV personality and football star Emmanuel Acho will be replacing Chris Harrison for the After the Rose special. The movie, uh, this move rather, comes after Harrison came under fire for comments he made during an interview with former Bachelorette star Rachel Lindsay and ABC's Zorian Shaw is on that story from Los Angeles. Zorian, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan. Rachel Lindsay, the first black bachelorette for the franchise, spoke with Chris Harrison earlier in the month. Now, she used the experience to push for change, pushing hard for Emmanuel Acho to step in, while Chris Harrison, one of the most well-known reality hosts in history, steps aside. This morning, the big bachelor announcement. Former Philadelphia Eagles linebacker and best-selling author Emmanuel Acho now tapped to host The Bachelor after the final Rose special. Speaking to Matt James, the show's first black lead and three female finalists. ABC making the announcement after longtime host Chris Harrison stepped aside. Ladies, this is the final Rose tonight when you're ready. Apologizing after backlash over defending one of this season's frontrunners, Rachel Kirkconnell. Already, like, completely falling in love with you. Kirkconnell became a center of controversy after pictures surfaced of her attending a plantation themed college party three years ago. Her social media also showing she shared QAnon conspiracy theories and liked a Confederate flag photo. I just hope I, I can earn your forgiveness and, and your grace through my future actions. Harrison angered fans by defending Kirkconnell during an interview with Rachel Lindsay, the show's first black bachelorette. It's not a good look. No, it's not a good, well, Rachel, is it a good look in 2018 or is it not a good look in 2021? It's because not a, a big good difference. look ever because she's celebrating well, the old South. She's cel if I went to that party, what would I represent I, at that party? My guess, these girls got dressed up and went to a party and had a great time. They were 18 years old. Now, does that make it okay? I don't know, Rachel, you tell me. Harrison stepping aside for a period of time, writing, by excusing historical racism, I defended it. I am ashamed over how uninformed I was. I was so wrong. Welcome to another episode of Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man. In recent days, Acho's name has been floated as a possible replacement host. Lindsay had pushed for him to take over hosting duties, saying he had no ties to the franchise and is outspoken about racial justice. In your opinion, what's the best way to move forward with this conversation? I think that it's best that we raise our kids to see color. Acho seeing himself as a healer to some of the deep divides. He authored Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man after his viral YouTube series with the same name, launching both soon after George Floyd's killing. He also Instagrammed, I love being a bridge for reconciliation. Our world is disconnected and divided. My goal is to unify. It's still unknown who will permanently host The Bachelor. Rachel telling People Magazine even she hasn't thought that far. And she adds while she thinks recent changes have been positive, there is still a lot of progress to be made and that we cannot get complacent. And which she even deactivated her Instagram because of all the backlash. Wit? Well, that's really unfortunate in all of this, but mm -hmm. the conversation mm -hmm. continues. Zareen, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.